Hi everybody, Big L. Just wanted to share a few pickups I uh, made recently. Uh, back at the beginning of the week, I uh, showed off some Austrian 25 and 50 shillings coins, and coincidentally, I picked up another couple this week. I think uh, Frankie P had mentioned this one that he's uh, got an order himself. Uh, these two aren't probably in as great condition as the previous ones I looked at, but nonetheless, this is a cracker to have. Um, Mozart, uh, if I had heroes, he'd certainly be one of them. Um, the original punk. So this is uh, a 1956, 25 shillings, commemorating the 200th anniversary of his birth really pleased to pick this up. Um, all of these coins, except one, <laughs> I picked up for less than spot. Uh, this is the second Austrian one, this one from 1963. Again, 80%, same as the Mozart one. And this is the 300th anniversary of the birth of one of Austria's, of the Austria-Hungarian empires. Heroes, Prince Eugen, or Prince Juni, uh, Eugene, yeah, Prince Eugene de Savoie. I think he originally was. He was French, um, and he went on to become one of the military heroes of the Habsburg Empire after being rejected by Louis the Fourteenth. Big mistake. <laughs> but this one, uh, that's as much as I know. Uh, and the only reason I know about this guy is because um, I have a friend in Slovenia who told me all about him one night in a drunken mess in a pub after watching a football game. Uh, it was Slovenia, Scotland, uh, and I, because I was uh, there with my buddies from Slovenia, was nominally supporting Slovenia. I didn't really give a shit who won, as long as one of them did. But um, he told me all about this guy. And I think the metaphor he was trying to make was that I was like him, I'd rejected my own country. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Except I didn't go on to become a hero. Um, anyway, sorry about that. This one, uh, a two lever coin from 1882, Bulgaria, in really, really good condition. First Bulgarian coin I'd picked up. So, uh, yeah, really, really pleased with this one. Cracking little design. And uh, again, as I say, less than spot. This one is uh, a 1939 Irish shilling. And they were a bit more generous in 1939 than us Brits were. By then it was 50% silver for the UK. Ireland was still making their coins 75% silver. So, yep, yeah, well chuffed with that one. And really over the moon to pick this one up. This is the first, well, first German coin I've been able to pick up, I think. No, 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 I've got a couple of 1972 Olympic commemoratives, I think. But this one is from 1914, German states, Prussia, which uh, was a tiny geographical area, um, but uh, historically had huge influence in Germany. Oops. So, yeah, really, really pleased to pick this one up. All of these on different eBay auctions, as usual, late at night when no buggers watching. So that one, some nice toning just up at the uh, top here, but in fabulous condition. Three marks, 90% silver. Cracker. And then the only one for which I didn't pay anywhere close to spot is this one. Another rocking horse crown, 1935. 50% silver, and this is in really sensational condition. 
as I say, I paid over the odds for it, but it was about £14. So, yeah, expensive when you're looking at the solar content, but um, just look at the condition. Fabulous. Absolutely wonderful, wonderful condition. And there he is. KG5. Yeah, so all in all, quite an eclectic little bunch. Really, really pleased to have picked them all up. Love that Mozart one. Uh, I was toying with the idea of maybe just taking it out of the flip and hanging it onto it, put it in my pocket and walk around with it. Because like I say, um, I like Mozart. Anyway, enough of my wittering. That's uh, latest pickups. I hope that uh, this last one, Argentum Spartus, is uh, uh, worth looking at. I told you you'd be keen on coming over to pinch it, so I'll expect you any day. In the meantime, everybody else, if you can please like, subscribe, leave your comments. As always, any kind of comment, good, bad, and different, always welcome. Uh, and until the next time, you take care and have a good one. Bye-bye.